Okay, say that to me again. What I was saying was that so the bathroom is like an ex-boyfriend. One that's like really gorgeous, but treats you like shit. So why are you so good looking but so mean? It is so nice out today. So this is one of the last times I'll be filming at this apartment. Elaine and I are off today and tomorrow and we've taken one day off as well because we've kind of got a load of stuff to do over at the house and we've a load of um, like people coming to do, like to install like alarms and broadband. We've got our fridge arriving this morning. So we're just heading over to the house now and we're gonna kind of finish off the last couple of little bits that we need to do and kind of wait in while all the stuff that we need to get connected gets connected. So that's kind of what this weekend is all about. And by this time Monday, we will have moved in. So it is very, very exciting. All right, so I'm over at the house now and we've come over to do all our bits of work. And when we went up to have a quick look at the bathroom and to see how the progress there has gone since last night, uh, I discovered that after we flushed the toilet, we have a leak, which is coming through our lovely newly patched kitchen ceiling. And I've spoken to the builder about it and he's going to come over tonight and have a look and get that sorted. But for now, that's not ideal. So to be honest, I was really excited to come over today and to see kind of just the progress that have been made in the house and in the bathroom and everything. And I'm really, really annoyed now that there's a leak from the bathroom into the kitchen. I don't, like, it doesn't appear to be the same place as the original leak, but like the first thing we asked to be fixed was the leak in the bathroom. And now there's another one. It's just, it's unbelievably frustrating. Elaine and I have taken time off work to get the last bits finished in the house before we move in. And this is kind of a massive problem, potentially. And because our builder can't get over until this evening, we don't know if it's an easy fix or like how long it's gonna take. So that I think is kind of stressing me out a bit more too. The leak doesn't really stop us from doing any of the work that we had come over to do. So it's just kind of, I guess, trying to ignore it and get through the rest of the stuff that we can get through. That's our fridge there. Uh, we don't see any point in taking it out right now because the skirting boards down here still have to go on. We have more people coming in about an hour or two to install our phone watch alarm system. And then after that, I think today, it's just a matter of tidy the place up as much as possible for when the couch arrives tomorrow. But one last thing that I forgot to mention was the bedroom that Elaine and I are gonna use. I showed you guys in the vlog last time the floor when it arrived. Uh, the floor has been put in now and this is how it looks. So this should be just like making really big Lego. turned out exactly as I wanted it to. And actually something that I forgot to mention earlier on was, remember the garden in the last video? Well, this is what it looks like now. Hey guys, so we're at the end of our day now. We're just about to finish up and head home. We've been here for 12 hours working away despite the leak coming through the kitchen ceiling. Um, quick update on that, by the way. Our builder has been over and he tried to get at it from the kitchen ceiling, so our lovely freshly plastered ceiling has another hole in it. And in the end, it turned out that the problem was up behind one of the tiles uh, in the bathroom, so he took that down and he just found that one of the pipes was loose. So he's tightened it up and it's all working perfectly now. So I'll show you the bathroom really quickly and you can see the update that has happened in there. We've got the towel rail in, the shower screen is now in, the shower is in, and we have our toilet here. And as of just about 15 minutes ago, this lovely sink unit has gone in. So this is great, like I love these taps and how kind of flat they look, and we've got really good water pressure. The grouting is mostly done now in the tiles as well, so 
it's a really nice grey grout that really matches in well with the tiles um, and I just think it looks lovely. And then a lot of the other work that was done today was actually done in the sitting room so and one thing that you'll notice that's very different is the fireplace. We painted, we sanded and painted the wood on the fireplace and we painted it white. Elaine has actually been painting this black. Now, the black that we have here is a little bit shinier than we'd like, so we're probably gonna go out and get a matte black. And we're gonna put that on this backboard here and just down on the stonework on the fireplace here, just so it's not as shiny. This is a gas fire and it does not work at the moment and we have no intention of getting it fixed in the near future. So that's why we're happy to paint this up. And then while Elaine was doing all the work in there, I was out in the conservatory and basically what I was doing was I was just um, tidying up the edges along our skirting boards. This is what they look like now. And I am very happy. The edges look much nicer on the floor. Now I've just been going in with a scraper and some cleaner and basically just taking the ends off the skirting boards. Like we had them all masked up when we painted them but what we discovered when we took the masking tape off was it looked like the paint had gotten underneath. And what I've actually been discovering is like the skirting boards aren't proper wood, they're like a weird laminate thing and it's like that laminate had come away at the bottom and that's why the paint had kind of gathered and it wasn't actually on the floor i was taking almost what looked like sheets of paper that like had a wood effect on them out from underneath the skirting boards and when i did that i got the edges back really nice so i'm really happy with how it's turned out on this side and i just have a little bit to finish off down here and i'll just show you what it looks like now actually so you can see the edging looks really rough there but that's actually the bottom of the skirting board and I'm really confident that I'll be able to get all that off because the other side looked exactly the same before I started. We're going to call it a night now because it's starting to get a bit late and it's getting dark and we should be back here at 8 in the morning because the guy is coming to install the broadband tomorrow anytime between 8 and 12. So we need to be here for that. So I got a phone call about our couch that was meant to be delivered today and it seems there's a bit of confusion between me and the company we bought it from. I had asked them to deliver it today and they arranged for the call up to confirm delivery today. So the couch is now coming on Monday. Um, that actually works out pretty well because if we need to repaint this fireplace, it means that this room will be aired before the couch arrives because that black paint absolutely stinks. One other thing that is uh, getting set up today is our broadband. Um, so the technician to come and install the router and get us all up and running is due to be here in the next hour so that's brilliant uh, it means that if he gets in in the next hour or so and gets finished we're not tied to the house again the way we were yesterday okay so the first thing we need to get stuck into today is in this bedroom this wall here when our builder was chasing pipes in the bathroom he came through this wall a little bit so he's plastered up a lot of the damage, but he just asked if we take all the wallpaper off this wall, he'll come back this evening and he'll skim this whole wall. So we're just gonna try and get all of that wallpaper off as best we can, as quickly as we can. So we'll be able to get it painted tomorrow and then we'll be sort of, we'll have it ready in time for Sunday. So I've just left Elaine upstairs to take off that wallpaper and I'm gonna finish these edges in the conservatory that I was talking about last night. finally finished with that edging so now it looks like this and it is so much neater than it was before I started so I'm really happy with how that's turned out but so far things are looking good and um, in the spirit of Elaine and I befriending animals that come to where we live there is a cat down the end of our garden I so want to make friends with him. Elaine and I have just spent all morning just packing up stuff into boxes so that we can move out of the apartment and into the house. The two days we'd taken off and all the kind of work we were doing over in the house, it didn't really 
fully feel real. It still it felt like every other time we were over there and we were kind of prepping the house to get ready to move in, it kind of felt like it was sort of far away in the distance. Uh, but now that we're actually packing stuff up in our own apartment, it really like it feels much more imminent. It's really kind of hit home now that like we're moving out tomorrow. Uh, our landlord has been on to us today as well, so he's arranged a time for us to hand back keys tomorrow evening. It's all getting very real very, very quickly. I'm just heading out now. We've a few, we've two bags and a box of stuff to donate. I'm gonna drop those to the charity shop now, and I have to pick up a vacuum cleaner from my parents because we don't actually have one yet. So there's been nobody over to the house this morning. Looks like the tiler has finished up last night and our builder will be over this evening to kind of finish off the rest of his stuff. So with any luck by tomorrow, all that building work should be finished. The place is still a bit of a building site. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna be living in a bit of a building site for the next week or so. There's no way that all this stuff can be finished before we move in tomorrow. Right, the vacuuming is all done now. I'm just gonna fly back to the apartment really quickly and start loading the car up with boxes. My friend Siobhan is already there. So we're gonna load up my car and his car and start bringing stuff over to the house now. This is my ride along passenger. Um, my car is literally chocked full of boxes right now. Like, it's been ages since I've had this much stuff in this car. Uh, probably not since I moved here in the first place. So we're just gonna bring this stuff over to the new house and unload it there. Oh my God, it is so hot. Um, probably one of the hottest days of the year. Not necessarily the most ideal weather to be unloading big heavy boxes out of the back of cars. So we've got the cars unloaded now and we're just gonna head back to the apartment and get the next round underway. We ordered our last delivery, Gourmet Burger Kitchen, cause it's our favorite. Where we're moving to, delivery doesn't work, it's just it's too far from the city center. So Elaine got a chicken burger and Shizzy got sweet potato fries. So yeah, have I got food on my face? Did I have food on my face the whole clip? I did, oh well, what are you gonna do? I'm so sleepy now, it's just, I'm really kind of like full and tired and I just want to go to sleep, but I can't because we still have loads and loads to do. <laughs> Good recovery. Okay, so we're just back over in the house now to drop over some more stuff and the builder seems to be gone, which is surprising. I would have thought he'd still be here. His battery for like his drill or whatever is still charging. He might just be going in to get some food or something. This wall in the bedroom that was completely wrecked. He's skimmed a lot of that. Now I thought he was gonna skim the whole thing. If he doesn't, that's fine. We can just kind of work with it as is. But I thought that was the plan. But in the bathroom, so he has sealed in behind here. And he has actually put our bathroom cabinet up. Um, He's left the bath full of water, so I guess that's just to, to be sure, to be sure. And obviously he still has to fit the door as well, but he's gonna do that probably tomorrow. Just real quick, in case you're wondering, I've moved all the stuff to the edges of the room, just so there isn't too much weight in the center of the floor. I'm sure it'll be fine, but how unfortunate would it be to come home tomorrow and find that the contents of your spare bedroom are in your living room. Elaine and I will have to make another trip or two over with some stuff, but the majority of what we own is now in the house, which is really exciting, actually. I can't wait to get in here now, you know? Like, I'm really just so excited to live here. So by this time tomorrow, we will have handed back our keys to the apartment, and we will be out of there. So yeah, I'm just like, I can't wait to get in here and like to properly make this my home. Bye Shizzy, see you later. Bye. 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 